Today when you go to the movies, popcorn, candy, soft drinks, and other concessions are a central part of the experience. But when the world of moving pictures first enthralled the public, candy and even popcorn were not sold inside theaters. By the year 1907, 3,000 Nickelodeons were in operation in the United States. And in 1914, 27% of Americans visited theaters at least once a week. In the years before the Depression, theater owners universally disdained the idea of selling concessions. They feared that patrons would litter and damage the ornate furnishings of palatial movie palaces that opened during the teens and twenties. As the Great Depression eroded revenues in theaters across the country, owners began leasing space inside to popcorn vendors in order to attract patrons. Once theater owners realized the revenue generating potential from selling popcorn, they began offering it themselves. Renowned theater architect S. Charles Lee, famous for designing San Diego State Theater and the Huntridge Theater in Las Vegas, also invented a machine that popped and kept popcorn warm for patrons. Back in those days, a bag of popcorn cost anywhere from five to 10 cents. As theaters incorporated refrigeration or conditioned air, they found that it could prevent chocolate from changing color and keep water ice cold. Candy counters became a common design element in theaters. Everything from chocolate candies to candy apples were available. Sugar rationing during World War II curbed the sale of candy until the late 1940s. As the Cold War set in, jujubes, baby Ruths, goobers, milk duds, and snow caps, smaller versions of a candy called the Bob White, predominated. Today, popular candies include Sour Patch Kids, Skittles, Swedish Fish, and Nestle's Buncha Crunch along with classics like M&M's, Milk Duds, and Dots. However, then as now, popcorn dominates concession sales, even though prices have increased over 600% adjusted for inflation. Many patrons wonder why popcorn and other concessions are so expensive at the movies. During the first weeks of a film's release, studios take up to 70% of ticket sales. Revenue from concessions allow theaters to operate profitably. What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it's buttered cup? Popcorn and sweet cream butter, too hot popcorn. Mix it up, wrap it up, buttercup is born. It's delicious. So nutritious. It's a taste delight. It's so munchy. Crisp and crunchy. You'll enjoy it by eating butter crunched buttercup. Popcorn at its best. Served in a king size cup. Step back in time with me and revisit the golden age of entertainment. From turn of the century Nickelodeons to Keith Albee's Vaudeville Palace. From neighborhood theaters of yesteryear to your favorite drive-ins and twin cinemas. They're all featured in historic theaters of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley. Available from the History Press.